Hey, what's up everybody? This is Dom and today I'm going to show you how to hide stock apps on iOS 7 beta 3 and now I can't say if this will work in a future beta but it works right now and this little glitch is courtesy of the Barraquito on Twitter and I'll be sure to link him down below in the description in case you want to give him a shout out but in order to do this you're going to have to have your home screen set up a specific way. The first thing you're going to need is a full screen of apps. Now as you can see I have apps in every single position on the first page of my home screen that's very important you're also going to need to make sure that you have a folder present and then you're going to need apps in the dock that you would like to hide so any apps that you would like to hide on your device you're going to need to place those down in the dock now what we're going to do here is tap and hold on an icon or on an app and then you're going to double press the home button immediately so tap and hold on an app then double press the home button right away so check this out we're going to do it here. We're going to tap and hold on the phone icon, double press the home button. Then when we back out to the home screen right here, you'll notice that the app icon is abnormally bigger, as you can see right there. Then we're going to go into a folder here. So tap on a folder, then back out of the folder by tapping on the blank space at the bottom, then press the home button and poof, the app completely disappears. It is nowhere to be found on my device, which is very desirable for certain applications. So we're going to go ahead and give this a shot again with the mail app down here. So we're going to tap and hold on the mail app, then double press the home button. Tap and hold, double press, then back out to the home screen. Then you should see this abnormally large icon here, as you see right there. We're going to enter a folder, then we're going to exit the folder, tapping on the blank space at the bottom, then press the home button, and poof. Now this app is gone from our home screen here, but we can access it via Spotlight and it is fully functional. So if we pull down Spotlight Search and we type in mail here, let's go ahead and type that in, we can access it right there and it works just fine. Now all these apps will return if you reboot your device, so keep that in mind. But we're going to go ahead and try this again real quick with Safari. So tap and hold and then double press the home button back out to the home screen by tapping on the card right there. Then as you can see, it's abnormally large. We are going to tap on a folder, exit the folder, and then press the home button, and there it goes, just like that. It's very simple. Like I said, if you reboot your device, they will all come back, so keep that in mind, but it is a temporary solution to get rid of some of the apps on your iOS 7 beta device, and they are nowhere to be found, as you can see. We're going to do this real quick with the music app. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you're going to need to make sure that you have your home screen set up very specific in order for these apps to hide right here, so keep that in mind, and this is not a permanent solution as the apps will reappear when you reboot your device. After you've hidden all of the apps that were present on your dock, you can drag more down there, but be sure to keep the home screen full right here. That is very important. Other than that, I think it does work very well. It's a temporary solution, like I said, and if you add more apps down to the dock to hide, you're going to need to make sure that you fill in that little space there. So give a shout out to V Barraquito on Twitter. I'll link him down in the description. He's the one that discovered this nice little glitch here, but be sure to let me know what you think down in the comments below. Thanks again for watching, everybody. This is Dom and have a great day.